And here we go for the Charlie Hall chase. And grade two race here. And you can see there the favourite All Lang Zines got that group one penalty after winning last week. We've got Bon Jours for Paul Rhodes. Bucko Martin lead him. Dennis in denial for Graham Clutterbuck. Flashpoint Leon Van Rensburg. Gypsy King Alex Cherry. Master of Time Joshua Sutherland. Plain Lukey Martin lead him. Radea De Huli. Reality Check Ryan Tamasebi. Tullamore Sloan Daniel French. Yorkshire Send Craig Allen. Florence Nightingale Paul Rhodes. Not to be confused with his flat runner of the same name. French Vacation Leon Van Rensburg. Glad All Over for Davy Ladd. Griffin Guest. Darren Thompson, Lady Matilda, Jim Murray, Sunday Mots, Thomas Rogers, and Whitstar Mayhem. For Alex Cherry, completes your lineup for this Charlie Hall chase. So a big field of 19 runners going to take their chance here at Weatherby for this grade two. And they are off and running. And that early lead by Bonjours and Yorkshire Scent. And yeah, then we've got the two runners from my stable, Reality Check, who unseated his rider. Very different fortunes for those two horses in week one. And actually, we lost one there. We lost Master of Time. So Joshua Sutherland's runner is down at the first. And Reality Check almost made it back-to-back -back, uh, unseats after slamming into that first flight of fences. But you can see the stable mate, All Lang Syne, who made all of the running over in America for that Group 1 chase in week one, is going to try and do the same. And... Again, we're experiencing some real technical difficulties here at Weatherby. It looked like they jumped the air there, um, but I can assure you they did jump the fence. But it's Radir that's gone into the early lead. All Lang Syne, who made all of that running over in America, who is going to find it very difficult to win today. I do not fancy it to be able to follow up today under that Group 1 penalty. But why not take your chance? You never know what might happen in racing, particularly jumps racing. So it's Radir in the lead. Yorkshire Scent and All Lang Syne take up second and third. Just looking for the Leon Van Rensburg runners because I know Flashpoint is very well fancied to have a big, big season for the champion trainer, but that one is currently the back marker at the very rear of the field and is not too far behind uh, the other runner from that stable that is French Vacation. So back towards the front of the field, we've got Radia, All Lang Syne, Florence Nightingale, Griffin Guest, Reality Check is on the outside of Yorkshire Scent as they come to the next flight. All of them got over that safely. Not a particularly quick jump from French Vacation. And you can see that Flashpoint and uh, 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 Plain Lukey have moved up alongside that one now. So it's not, uh, there's, you know, not too much of a distance between the front and the back marker at the moment. So we've seen quite a few strung out fields uh, so far, but not here today. But we have lost another one. Whitstar Mayhem unseated the rider at the rear of the field. Radia didn't put in a very good jump at that fence, and he didn't put a good jump in at that one either. So Radia has made back-to-back -back mistakes, and that means it's surrendered the lead to Denison Denial from Glad all over in second. All Lang Syne over towards the rail takes up third, but has just moved into second with a good jump. So Denison Denial from All Lang Syne Radia trying to get back up towards the leader by squeezing up past All Lang Syne on the rail and is now weaving its way in between the two horses wants to be at the front of the field that horse for David Hooley but the lead at the moment is Denison Denial from Radia then it's the two runners in the red and blue, blue hoops that's All Lang Syne and then Reality Check the less fancied runner from the Ryan Tamasebi stable. Bonjours for Paul Rhodes, just sandwiching between those two horses. And behind those on the rail, we've got Sundes Mots. You can see French Vacation has moved much closer and is just in behind those. And we've got Yorkshire Send in the middle of that pack as well, alongside Florence Nightingale as they come over that next fence. All Lang Syne has dropped back into the middle of the pack, and that usually is where that horse races, rather than being at the very front of the field. So it's a very different style of running for that horse today, different jockey instructions. Denison Denial is now joined at the front of the field by Radia. A good four or five length gap to Bonjours as they go over the next. Reality check and all Lang Syne in four and fifth. In the centre of the track, we've got Yorkshire Scent that's been travelling well. And the other runner there we have is Gypsy King. That one's travelled quite well in the dark blue, the white and orange sleeves. Looking towards the rear of the field, we still have Plain Lukey, Tullamore Sloan. Plain Lukey is running alongside the loose horse at the moment. The Leon Van, Ren Van Rensburg runners are still being very patiently ridden and held up towards the rear of the field. That's French Vacation and Flashpoint, and they are running alongside another runner who performed pretty well last week that's Lady Matilda for Jim Murray you can see there is travelling strongly and making a bit of progress there in the black silks with the red sleeves 
So back up towards the front of the field and it's still Radia and Bonjours now. All Lang Syne wants to get a little bit closer to the front. It's going to see if it can get towards the front and then try and hold off runners again. Reality check. The stable may put in another really poor jump. It doesn't look like it's made for the bigger obstacles to be honest. But All Lang Syne now moves into the lead ahead of Radia. We're inside the final mile. We're coming towards seven furlong marker. It's All Lang Syne in the lead from Radia, the black horse, uh, on, the, uh, on the far side as they go over that next flight a better jump from all lang syne and that's allowed it to open up a bit of a lead here over radia and bonjours another decent jump up front but an even better jump from bucko and that's now moved up into second place after racing the majority of this race so far towards the rear of the field reality check even though it's made a few mistakes is still there in contention but with five furlongs left to go it's all lang syne trying to follow up group one success by carrying the weight here in the charlie hall look at french vacation for leon van Rensburg. It's come from nowhere to now move into second place. It doesn't want to go down to All Lang Syne again, this stable. And it's now about to move up alongside it, although All Lang Syne, the jockey's still sitting motionless and has allowed French Vacation to kick on and go into the lead here in the Charlie Hall chase. Three and a half furlongs left to go. It's French Vacation looking to follow up uh, the, the, the West Yorkshire hurdle win for this stable quite quickly in the Charlie Hall chase. All Lang Syne and Reality check in second and third. Oh, it's a mistake from French Vacation. Almost went down on its nose, and that's allowed All Lang Syne to go up alongside it. Jockey settled French Vacation, and it's kicking. Oh, it's a bad mistake from All Lang Syne. Topsy Turvy up front, and French Vacation has the lead from All Lang Syne. Reality check in third. Yorkshire Sen trying to stay on, and French Vacation jumps that one really well and has a length and a half and is extending this advantage over All Lang Syne. Into the final uh, furlong we go. Nothing's going to get French Vacation, I don't think. All Lang Syne struggling to carry that weight, but is ran really well in second French Vacation wins the Charlie Hall chase for Leon Van Rensburg well done well done to the jockey and horse uh, made an awful mistake two out but regained its composure kicked back on and wins the Charlie Hall chase it's back to back group wins for Leon Van Rensburg here at Weatherby French Vacation wins at a massive 100 to 1 all Lang Syne a mighty run uh, carrying an extra 9 pounds there in second really happy with that run reality check put in a, a, a poor round of jumping but manages to stay on into third Yorkshire sent fourth for Craig Allen fifth uh, glad all over for Davy Ladd what a race the Charlie Hall chase goes to Leon Van Rensburg